be one of the most memorable fights of this or any year. One thing is for sure, as Gary and uh, Fernando will attest, and as fighters who are sitting up there will attest, negotiations did take place. <laughs> Tickets go on sale Monday, that's August 2nd, um, and I think you've read it, you have it at uh, $50 to $400. And with that, I'll just give you the odds. The odds uh, will go up today at 1 o'clock in, in, in Las Vegas. <clears throat> and they are, what many think this fight will be very close, that the odds are very, very tight. Uh, minus 160 <clears throat> for the favorite one, and plus 180 for Rafael. That is the opening odds for the fight. You know, Lopez and Marquez has all the makings of a classic. Classics like we've seen between Rafael Marquez and Israel Vasquez, a historic quadruple series of fights. Um, the last time, uh, well, one of the last times Bob Aram and Gary Shaw did a show together, Corrales Castillo, the first one out in Las Vegas, was fight of the century, could be arguably, certainly fight of the decade. Um, so this fight sets up to be just as, as good a matchup as those, and as competitive a matchup as those. Um, the hard determination, the incredible power that Rafael Marquez brings into the ring makes him the toughest the most formidable opponent that Juan Manuel Lopez has faced to date. And that young star from Puerto Rico is going to be looking to uh, shine his, his star and to continue his rise to greatness and try to build his legacy on the back of Rafael Marquez. We know Rafael's not going to take that lightly. So really looking forward to September 18th on Showtime. That kicks off a tremendous three-week run of championship boxing on our network. The very following Saturday, um, the Super 6 World Boxing Classic will begin its third and final group stage, the round robin portion of the tournament, with a doubleheader championship boxing from two different sites. The first will be Michael Kessler defending his WBC Super Middleweight title against Alan Green. And of course, Andre Ward defending his WBA title against Andre Durrell. That's September 25th. The very next Saturday, October 2nd, is Carl Frosch versus Arthur Abraham. So we appreciate everyone's support, appreciate all the media's attention on these great fights, and uh, looking forward to a tremendous run September to October. Um, I'd like to bring up at this time Daniel Zaragoza, the trainer, to say a few words um, on behalf of Rafael Marquez. Daniel? Estamos ante un encuentro clásico, México Puerto Rico. Eh, Rafael Márquez, damos su tercer título del mundo. We're here in a classic, classic event, México against México against Puerto Rico, and Rafael Márquez is going to try to gain his third title in this different class division. Como cuando ganó su primer campeonato del mundo de la división Gaga, enfrentó un peleador zurdo, Tim Austin. Like uh, when he won his first title in uh, the Vanderbilt division, he was in front of a Southpaw fighter, same as here, uh, Tim Austin. Ahora, con este gran campeón, Juan Manuel López, de la misma manera zurdo, vamos a hacer un trabajo de acorde al estilo de este magnífico peleador puertorriqueño. Now that we're going against a great fighter like uh, Juanma, the Kisses Alpa, we're going to make a special work for this great fight. Yo durante 20 años llevé una carrera a esa guardia, más o menos sé cómo pelear a un peleador solo. Like, uh, I was, when I was a fighter, I was also a Southpaw, so I know how to fight a Southpaw. Mucha suerte a ambos, que ganen mejor. Good luck to both of uh, the fighters, and the best of the best of the
go in before his brother and sit at his at every press conference. It's my pleasure to introduce to you a great champion, a guy who's going to win on September 18th, and I predict by knockout in the sixth round, Rafael Marquez. Señor, yo quiero pelear con los mejores. 
After that fight, he walked right up to Bobert and told him, I want to fight the best that I can fight. Pues en septiembre 18, verán a Juanma demostrarle al mundo que es hoy por hoy el mejor 126 libras del mundo. And on September 18, he'll show everyone that he truly is the best 126 pounds in the world. Y va a ser un capítulo más. Verá que se convertirá en la superestrella que todos ustedes esperan. Muchas gracias. And you know this is a chapter where he's going to turn into the superstar of this chapter. Thank you. 